Hello, welcome once again. In this video series, we will see what Niagara is and how to use the Niagara system for creating excellent VFX. In the earlier videos in this series, we have seen the making of a Niagara emitter to emit a continuous spark particle effect into the world. In this video, you will learn how to create the spline-based Niagara effect in Niagara, where the spa winding particle follows a certain path created in spline. Please like this video if you find it helpful and informative, and subscribe to our channel for newer updates and game development tutorials. So let's start. Create a Niagara system, a simple sprite will do. Okay, select fountain, so that we have a ready-made system. Name it fx underscore spline. Open the fx underscore spline system, so the basic material looks like this. And the go to emitter update, set loop behavior to infinite, and then to spawn rate, let it be 90. Now the spawning, however, this doesn't matter now as you will create a spline where the spawning particles will follow the path of the spline. Now go to particle spawn system, and open initialize particle, you can set lifetime as maximum as 10, later on based on the length of spline, you can adjust. Now you will create a blueprint class here at the BP underscore spline. Just open this and add the spline component. Now create some random shape by dragging and adding new spline points. Maybe 7 to 8 spline points you can add. So here we are. Compile this, and then go to level and drag the BP underscore spline onto the level. Also drag the particle system. Now you will make both the blueprint class and Niagara system at same location. For this copy the location of blueprint and paste it on the particle system. Now both of them are at same position. And you will move spawning particles move along with the spline path. Okay, now we will connect the Niagara system to spline. Now you need a module script, so right click and select FX and Niagara module script. Name it MS underscore spline. Now double click it and open the module script. Here you will use a spline line, so that the spawning particle should snap to the spline over their edge. In module script, click on the plus sign in the get map node. And then select add existing parameter and the data interface, and finally input new spline. Name the category as spline. Ok now drag the node and click and search for, sample spline position by unit. So here particle should snap to the spline throughout the lifetime. And it should update to particle position, so here I will take a particle position by clicking and search position, you will get particle position, and then just connect position to over here on particle position. Now click on the plus sign on get map node and search for particles normalized age. Select it and then connect it to you. Now compile it and do back to particle system. You can check on the user parameter. You will see nothing here. Okay, now we will connect the Niagara system to spline. Here you will get into concept of user parameter. Select the Niagara system and go to particle spawn. In particle spawn system go to color and click on drop down and select make and then select from the user parameter. This will enable you to control the color of the particle spawning. Now click on the user's parameter under system settings. You can see the color parameter here. Now check the same in your level viewport by selecting the Niagara system and find the colors in the user parameter in the details panel. From here also you can change and modify the parameters of this module. You can control these parameters through blueprints also. Okay, for time being delete this. Okay, now we will connect the Niagara system to spline. In the particle update click on the plus sign and search for spline. In case not visible deselect the library and search again. And select the ms underscore spline. And the click on the same on the module. You will see the detail panel. Here click on the drop down besides the spline, and select user parameter. This enables the user parameter for spline. You can check on the user parameter, you will see the new spline there, which was earlier not there. 
Now go to the viewport and select the Niagara system and in detail panel search for override parameters. And add there the BP underscore NS. You will see the particles spawning along with the spline path. Well it started. But since we made some changes in color, which made it blank. Okay let's make the color changes and also some changes in the spline point position. And check. Here this is all zero, let's add some value to it, which will reflect in terms of color. Congratulations! After following these steps, the spark fountain system in your level, which we originally selected now follows the path of spline. Just another example, we have made a spline for all is play path created in spline. And particles which are spawning follow the same path. Hope this video helps you to initiate your journey into the creative world of Niagara. Thanks. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.